If you've been keeping up with South Park Season 26, you may have noticed there's a new kid in town, notably roasting Stan for Riley's toilet flexing in the third episode of the season. Did you know some people can't even afford to eat? How about caring for something that matters, you bitch? After watching the same cast of characters for nearly 30 years, with the only new additions often being adults, your reaction to this new girl may reasonably be... Who is this bitch? Well, allow me to explain. This is Betsy, not to be confused with Betsy Donovan, Clyde's late mother. And she's not just some rando, but a clear homage to her voice actress, Betty Boogie Parker. That's right, the daughter of series co-creator Trey Parker. I'm sure a lot of hardcore South Park fans may already know this, but Betty's role in South Park actually goes way beyond Betsy. Despite only being 9 years old, Betty's been involved with the series ever since she was 2. Her notable roles include being the latest voice of Ike Robowski, Heather Williams, who debuted in 2021's South Park Return of COVID, and Chuck Chuck, child of man bear pig, in 2022's South Park The Streaming Wars. There's actually a handful of behind the scenes footage of Betty in the booth over on the Sal Parker's Instagram account, which I think is run by Betty's mom, Boogie. Let's do, how about caring for something that matters, bitch? How about caring for something that matters, bitch? <laughs> she puts in you. <laughs> But let's talk a bit more about Betsy as a character. Not only was she allegedly designed by Betty, which makes sense, they look exactly alike, but she actually debuted a little before season 26. And by a little, I mean like two years. In the South Park vaccination special, where she was a part of the Little Cuties, a branch of QAnon full of children who were brainwashed through the curriculum taught at Tutoranon, believing that the vaccine contained mind-controlling microchips courtesy of the Hollywood elites. Other familiar faces of part of Little Cuties include Scott Malkinson, Red, and unsurprisingly, the impressionable Butters. The Little Cuties not only tried to prevent our boys from administering the vaccine to the teachers at South Park Elementary, but also recruited Clyde in the return of COVID special. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the Little Cuties stick around in the form of the next video game as one of the many forces you have to battle, just with a new goal that isn't tied to the events of 2021. I've also been playing through the games for the first time recently and just started Fractured Butthole, and seeing that you have to fight not only the 6th graders, but the girls over at Raisins really got me thinking about groups from recent seasons that could pop up in the next one. But I'm getting a little sidetracked. The point of mentioning all of this is to illustrate that Betsy seems to be a very politically charged character. I mean, come on! She has an American flag patched to her jacket and went off on Stan for being Richie Rich, despite Stan wanting nothing to do with Randy's obnoxious antics. Betsy already seems like a character who genuinely wants to make a change, whose heart is in the right place, but for one reason or another, she ends up fighting for the wrong side. Obviously, these are observations based off of minor appearances, but they're consistent enough to make me think this is the direction they want to take her character in, and I think that makes for a great addition to the cast. Imagine watching Betsy and Wendy at odds over a social issue. Betsy constantly giving Stan shit because he's now a rich kid, even though he kind of rejects everything that comes from that title. Aside from the PS5, Cartman trying to rope her into doing his bidding, only for it to backfire as usual. Betsy really seems like a character who can mix up the dynamics of the show and breathe some new life into the kids' elementary school adventures. Although she's only had small roles at the time of recording, her frequent appearances in this new season has me thinking that they're setting the stage for her to play a bigger part in season 27 and beyond. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Should Betsy play a bigger role in the series, or are you fine as her being just a little easter egg of a background character that serves as a nod to her voice actress? Man, this kid has a bright future ahead of her. Let us know in the comments down below and keep the conversation going over on Instagram and Twitter at RoundtableVids and at AustricVox. Check out Toondrip for some dope cartoon inspired merch and if you enjoyed this video please sure to like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. See ya!